Hey amigas, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. In today's video, I am doing a full face of Fenty. I know, I've been saying for the longest time that I was gonna do this video. Pero saben que we're doing it today. I sat down, I glammed up, and this is the outcome of the look, and girl, I am digging it. I did use a lot of great products from Fenty that I highly recommend myself, along with their newest launch. This is the eavesdrop stick. I'll let you guys know in this video what my thoughts are. Okay, amigas, y'all ready? Let's do this. I just finished my skincare routine, amigas, and honestly, I think I need to put you on this one porque my skin looks like really glowy and it feels heavily moisturized. And I think this is probably the best routine yet. Also, right after my skincare routine, I always moisturize. So I did go in with the hydrovisor. I love this thing. It's from Fenty Skin and it also has SPF. So a best of both worlds. And this is what we got going on right now. So let's get straight into the makeup. And on days like these that my skin is looking great, I like to use the moisturizer as a primer. I don't like to put too much on top because I feel like it kind of like messes with the formulas, especially when you add on your foundation, which I do have a new one. It's called the Ease Drop Blur Smooth Tint Stick. Okay, that's like a lot of words for one little stick. First of all, the packaging is super cute. I already used it and honestly, it did really good to my skin. I went to their event recently. It was last week in Beverly Hills and they did this like really cute setup where it was like a drive through You got your products, you created content. It was amazing. So what this basically is a stick formula for this right here, because this is the original East Drop tint. This is liquid, this is stick. And what's funny is that I actually got matched in my previous Fenty event to the East Drop number 10. And then they actually matched me with number 10 on the stick as well. Two different girls, that's so funny. They got the same shade. This is my second time using this stick and I feel like I haven't got a good idea of how it feels and looks like. Cause I, when I did my makeup, I did it in a rush. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my skin and it does feel very much dewy and hydrating. I've seen a lot of people go in with their hands and just like fully rub this into their skin, but I am not down with that. I just really don't want all that foundation on my fingers. So I'm going to go in and blend it in with the sponge from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to tell you guys the real tea on this stick. So I am a combination skin. I am very dry on some areas, but the majority of my face I'm oily. So number one, the coverage is great and I can see it working for very dry skin. It's very hydrating, moisturizing, and it does a really good job like blending into your skin. Pero I do have very textured skin. So that's the reason why I kind of tend to stay away from radiant foundations because you are able to just to see everything. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but right here you can see all my open pores. You can see all my texture. Like I really don't like that. If I didn't have so much texture, I think I would be obsessed with it because it's nice. It feels very lightweight. And you know what? They matched it up to my tan skin. And right now my tan is already faded off. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. This one is in shade 250. So it is lighter than the original shade that I use when I have like tan skin, which is 300. I'm definitely gonna layer this on top of it because I want you guys to see the difference, okay? I know it looks healthy, it looks dewy on this side, it looks glowy, but I'm just a full coverage matte kind of girl. Okay, that definitely <laughs> works a lot better for me. Dude, this little mixture right here, I think it worked for my skin. I think I'm digging it. Now that we got the foundation out of the way, let's go on to conceal. So I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Concealer from Fenty Beauty, and I am in the shade 185. And I think I chose this one. I did not have a concealer, so I had to go to Ulta myself and shop for one, and to be honest, I didn't find one that was available that was like a really good match for me. So I want something that was a little bit lighter. I think this is gonna be a really good balance 
because my complexion looks a little bit deep and I feel like this is definitely gonna brighten things up. Curious to see how this blends in together because I know this concealer like alone, it works really well. But I haven't tried it with a little combination of foundation that I did. Mmm. Okay. No posi. Now let's add a little bit of dimension to the face. So I do have two options right here. This is actually a contour match stick and this one's in the shade Mocha. And it's definitely going to do a great job contouring. But I've recently got my hands on this. This is a bronzer a cream bronzer in honey glaze. And I think I'm gonna add both of them. This one is mainly to contour and this one to add a little bit of golden bronziness around the perimeter around the perimeters of my face. Dude, ya ni puedo hablar. Metal, I'm gonna take my matchstick in mocha and I like to take it directly on a brush. I used to like put it all over my face, but I found it a little bit more hard to blend out and like it gives that little harshness line that I don't like. So I'm going to put it as C and tap it all up in there. You see like this one has a more of a gray tone and honestly gray tones are or supposed to be the perfect shades to contour your skin because you're supposed to get that natural shadow. I'm going to put some like right in my temples for sure. Don't forget the jaw. Now let's add honey glaze. Dude, I, I'm obsessed with this one right here. It's, so good it's such a good bronzer and it has like the creamiest formula and it's buildable you know what i actually tried it out on my recent video i think i did right i did a first a full face of like brand new makeup and i think this was one of them and dude i cannot stop using this bronzer it's so freaking good fenty is one of those brands that have actually surprised me like i always stood away from them because to be honest, like their high end kind of makeup. And you guys already know that I like to stick to my budget and always like get low cost makeup or affordable makeup, whatever you want to call it. But this is honestly a brand I don't mind spending a little money on because the products and the quality and the packaging girl, it's all there. I mean, when the products are this good, it's just worth it. Okay, I feel good. Now let's add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna go in with the cream blush. This one is also new that they sent me. And remember that I did not try the shade Pinky Promise. Well, today I definitely am gonna use it. Here's what the shade looks like. It is like the perfect rosy tone. And I'm actually gonna go right into my cheeks. I kind of want to have that like rosy cheek moment, kind of like I'm blushing. It's cute. You see why I like rosy tones? I don't know. It just like ties everything up together so nicely. And I like focus that blush. You know what? No, I was going to say I focus that blush like right in the center of my cheekbones. But oh, you know what? There's days that I want my cheeks to look a little bit more lifted. So I'll put it like in this area. But with shades like this, I don't know. I just kind of want like those really rosy cheeks. Kind of like, you know what it reminds me of? Like SpongeBob. You know how SpongeBob has like those really round like little cheeks right here? Yeah, that's that's the goal right here. I, I want a little like SpongeBob. It almost looks like I have a little sunburn, huh? Like a little natural quemazón. Before I go in with setting powder, I'm actually going to set my face first with a pressed powder foundation. I love to do this. Like I set everything lightly with a pressed powder and low with the loose powder I bake. And this one's also in the shade 250. Oh my God, dude, talking about like quemazón and like the sun and stuff. Dude, when we went to the Fenty event, oh girl, I was so freaking hot and it's crazy because as you know i actually live up north i used to live in la i've been born and raised in la but i recently moved up a few years ago up north eh? to have a family to have a house todo eso. but anyway over here the cost of living is better than la but we have to sacrifice it with the weather because it is so freaking hot and i was so surprised that LA was way more hot than where I live. I'm like, dude, I, I don't even feel like I'm in LA. Like it felt like I was in Palm Springs or Lancaster or some shit, dude. It just did not feel like LA. Like it was so hot. I did a full face of makeup and usually my makeup will last all freaking day. But for some reason, it was just not having it. Like this thing was like, no, you know what? My sweat was coming down. 
but my makeup wasn't like coming off but it just felt so like nasty i just wanted to like wash my whole face and redo my whole makeup that's how hot it was dude and it was funny because there were some little stands and they have like acs like in between the shelves this and yeah, the the frio from the ac and i was just standing underneath it like oh girl you better freshen me up and even though i felt all sweaty and stuff i did get a lot of compliments on my makeup and i was like oh my god you look so dewy you look so radiant and good i was like oh yeah like me puse un chingo de setting spray like dewy mist Girl, I was lying. Okay, now we can bake. So I'm gonna go in with the loose powder from Fenty Beauty. This one is called Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I did get the shade Butter Cereal 2. And this is actually a new one for me. I have never tried it. It's still sealed. And I mean, how this thing go? It's so cute. It has like the FB little dots. So you can take out the setting powder. Let's go in have a little bit some on the lid and i got my amazon puff and just go and tap that in there oh this this powder is very fine but it's very pigmented okay i want to see how this works oh it's a rompio i got a little slit right here i need to buy some more <gasps> i just realized i forgot to contour my nose hold on let me do that real quick and then i'll set my face there we go now we can go with the loose setting powder and put it on the sides of my nose oh Oh, that is a very pigmented blue setting powder. Just drag that all across. And I thought this was going to be, I don't know if it's translucent. It doesn't say translucent. So I think I'm going to like focus it mainly in the areas that I want to brighten up. No, sad that I got a freaking white powder and I'm like medium toned skin. I don't want it to have a white cast. I can't like pinpoint that smell. Pero me gusta. It's so good, I could almost taste it. I'm gonna like tap the excess all over my skin just like that of it. Whatever I can drag down. And dude, remember how like the trend was to cut your bronzer or your contour with your setting powder? Like I don't do that no more. I really like the natural look of the bronzer and the contour like aligned with my cheeks. I don't like it too harshly. I like when I look back at videos, I'm like, girl, what was you doing? It just didn't look cute. I don't know what I was thinking. Just following the trends. I don't know. OMG, you know what I just realized? I don't have a powder bronzer or a powder blush from Fenty. So I'm gonna have to use something else. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back so we can get on with the eyes. Okay, yeah, regrese. She is done. Now let's get on to the eyeshadows. And for that, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty One true neutrals eyeshadow palette these are the colors in this eyeshadow palette so there were several ones that i could pick out of and honestly this was uh, the most appealing to me something that i would definitely wear on a, a like everyday basis i'm very intrigued i kind of want to see what these formulas are like because i have not used fenty beauty eyeshadows and so far dude there's a lot of kickback no lie a lot of fallout but nonetheless pigmented and the shade i'm using is called come and get it and it is a nice warm tone oh that's really pretty this formula is very easy to blend out i'm gonna grab that deep shade right in the bottom it's called afogado i have no idea what that is pero we are gonna use that to deepen up that crease right there oof Miren nomás, that is depth, girl, depth. And if I'm being for real, I have no idea where I'm taking this look, girl. I'm just placing and going. Do I know one thing's for sure? Me va a quedar perrón. Go back in and blend those two in together because I kind of want like that like natural smokiness to it. So I'm really digging it. I'm also going to place that Afogado shade in the bottom because I want to smoke it out. Just in the outer corner ever so lightly. I don't want something too deep. But I'll just right there. Just to tie everything together. Kind of like wink it upwards. I'm basically just going with the natural shape of my eye. And I feel like that's what you should do. Learn your eye shape and see what works best. 
because you'll get the best outcome. And for the lids, I'm gonna add this bone sheet right here. It's called Nookie Rookie. And I'm just gonna like tap it on to my lids. I'm not gonna go in like a cut crease shape. I kind of want to keep its natural form. But I want like that pigmentation to come off because I want that like brightening effect on the part of my lid right here. Not like going all the way out. I'm just kind of like going halfway in. If there's one type of shade that I love from eyeshadows, it is definitely going to be a nice little bone shade because I don't know, they just do it for me. Also going to add it to my brow bone. I want to highlight it. But I want to keep it nice and matte. So we're done with the eyeshadow. Now let's go in and add a little bit of mascara. This one is, of course, from Fenty Beauty. It's called Hella Thick. And girl, she got that name right because this mascara is hella thick and it makes your lashes look so freaking good. This is one of those mascaras that I could definitely use by itself. Just depending on how it looks with this eyeshadow, I'm gonna see if I keep the mascara by itself or if I pop on a little pair of falsies. Neta, amigas, this mascara is in my top three. I think for now we're gonna leave it at mascara. And if I want to at the end, then I'll pop on some lashes. Pero, okay, I don't have a lip pencil for Fenty Beauty, but I do have a lot of glosses, which this is my favorite freaking gloss from Fenty. It is so bomb. It is Fenty Beauty Heat. So let me go ahead and outline my lips and then we'll be back to fill it in with this gloss. Okay, I lied. I also ended up going in with a nude lipstick. I feel like because this is a little bit sheer, so it's not gonna get that pigmentation to fully cover my lips. So now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss. You guys are probably like, I thought this was a full face of Fenty. Sabes que? This is a full face of Fenty minus a couple things. Oh my God, every time I put on this gloss, it just makes me feel some type of way. And it is called heat for a dang reason, girl. You're gonna feel a little bit of heat going on your lips. And that is the little plumping sensation that just like makes your lips look a lot more fuller and they feel good and they look good and they're hella glossy. Oh, that should be another shade for the next gloss bomb. Fenty hit me up, hella glossy. And damn, amigas, here we are with the final look using a full face of Fenty. And yes, girl, I popped on some falsies. I really felt like this look needed it and it looks so good. The eyeshadow's popping, the complexion is popping, the glass is popping. What you think, eh? Te gusto? This look tied up very nicely together. Everything complements one another. The gloss and the shadow, oof. Y saben que, amigas, I really like this routine. Like, everything that I use, honestly, tied in so well together. I was a little bit nervous using the stick along with the Pro Filter Foundation, but I feel like, honestly, both of them combined, that's why my complexion looks the way it does because it was a balance of both of them. But overall, I really love how my makeup looks today and I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know down in the comment section below. What is your favorite product from Fenty Beauty? Pero amigas, we have come down to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. You guys can find me at Alma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Oh,